All right, let's get started and welcome to part two. So if you haven't seen part one, it kind of tells the story on why these boxes are sitting here. But for those that don't have the time to look at part one, I'll just give you a quick synopsis. I was down on the tail end of my 10 day dark side trip in September, new moon. And um, my Red Cat 51 and the mount it was on went flying. I mean, that's the long and short of it. I had it out on the cement pad next to my Edge HD8. I was taking a nap. The back doors of my van started banging and everything. I heard a crash, stuck my head out the van. I only saw one telescope standing on my pad, which was my Edge, 8, uh, Edge HD8. And it was no Red Cat. There was no HEQ5. So long story short, I went out there, totally shocked, didn't know what to do, afraid to bring the mount back up on the pad and take the cover off to see what damage was present and all that. But anyway, I worked my way through all that. But my tripod to my HEQ5 uh, broke. The center post is a casting and that's where the screws are to um, rotate the mount east and west. So I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna go home. Should I go home? And I said, you know, let's think this through. Okay, so my tripod is broken. The head unit of the HEQ5 may or may not be broken. It wasn't the best at uh, precision guiding. It, it's a good mount uh, and it served me well, but it wasn't necessarily the best. I'm down in Southern California. I know a Gina Astro, which I love, and I'm sure many of you love if you purchase through them. The way they get things out the door so quickly is just fantastic. So they were about two and a half hours away. I got on the phone to the CFO, AKA my wife, kind of had that conversation. Um, worked the deal with her. I was gonna sell some uh, Tesla stock to cover the cost and all that. So it all worked out that way. And then I, uh, placed an order with uh, Agena on Monday afternoon for a ZWA M5. That's an box, tripod, and then the pier. So what was really a tragedy at the end of my trip, um, you know, something positive has come out of it. I mean, I was joking, I think, with Christian and uh, Patrick when we're at Red Rock Canyon uh, State Park that, you know, I'd really like to get an AM5, but I really, uh, I don't have it in my budget and everything, you know? And uh, little did I know a couple of days later, I'd be placing your order with uh, Gina Astro. And um, so I ordered it on Monday, sent me the note that it was ready. So I drove, packed everything up Tuesday morning, drove over to a Gina picked up the, uh, the equipment and um, here it is sitting in my backyard now. I, I've had this for probably since the 18th of September. I haven't opened it up. Uh, a lot of other things have been going on that kind of have required my attention. So I think I'm gonna open it up right now.
I do have sandbags. Uh, I used to have a photography studio and I used to use sandbags to uh, secure my uh, C-stands that would hold the lights. And so uh, what I'll do is I think there's a, a basket which is probably this here and uh, I'll put the one or two of those sandbags in to have some additional weight uh, on the tripod, but um, you know, I'll have to figure out how this all how this all goes together, and maybe it goes. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll read the instructions. So, anyway, what started off as a tragedy, again, because I probably had my mount up too high. The cover I was using on my HEQ5 mount that had the red cat on it had too much excess material that I hadn't gathered up like I normally do with bungee cords to kind of reduce the profile of the cover. And I guess it kind of just acted like a sail and when that wind came up, you know, just sent that thing flying off the uh, cement uh, pad that I have there that uh, I lease from uh, Riverside Astronomical Society at Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station. But fortunately, yeah, I'm spending a few dollars that I hadn't planned on spending. But I think at the end of the day, and it's clear to me right now, I'm going to be saving space in my van. Um, all these components are much lighter than the HEQ5 mount. My expectation is my guiding performance uh, will improve given things like seeing and the other things uh, that can affect uh, our uh, guiding metrics. Uh, and uh, there is a possibility, I not, well, I, I understand people put Edge HD uh, eights on the AM5 without um, a counterweight. There is a counterweight option. I did not get that option because right now I am just going to I'm just going to use this for the Red Cat. And I still have my Xenostar 61, but really my my Red Cat 51 Gen 2 is uh, what's going to be on this um, on this mount here. So um, sometimes a uh, you know, things happen uh, for a reason, and I guess uh, maybe my carelessness uh, enabled this to happen. So it really is a happy ending, and this is really all first world problems. There's many people that are struggling and um, at that, but uh, I'm very fortunate to be able to uh, have purchased these items, and I'm looking forward to getting everything up and running during the October new moon period, which I'll be heading out on my trip around the 11th of October. And based upon what is happening relative to 190, the road through Death Valley opening from the uh, uh, Lone Pine uh, area into Death Valley, I may be able to meet up with uh, Patrick Kerrigan and Christian Ralph, so we'll see. And uh, other than that, wherever you may be in the world, I hope you have nothing but clear skies. See you next time.